Electricity can be seen in nature in a bolt of lightning. Lightning is nothing but the uncontrolled flow of a large number of electrons, from one cloud to another, or from a cloud to the ground, releasing a huge amount of energy. Scientists have learned how to generate or create electricity. This is useful because electricity that is generated can be controlled and sent through wires. It can then power our devices, such as light bulbs and computers. Imagine electricity as a fluid that can flow through wires. A wire acts like a water pipe, enabling smooth flow of charges from source to the device. The flow of charges through a conductor is called electric current, it is measured in amperes. If one unit of charge passes through a conductor in one second, we call it one ampere. There are two distinct types of current that can power our devices, AC and DC. Direct current comes from batteries and solar panels. It's a steady flow of charges in one direction, like water through a straight pipe. A DC source maintains a constant voltage level, polarity, and direction of current. This is similar to water flowing in one constant direction, maintaining its pressure and flow rate. This stability makes DC ideal for storing in batteries, similar to how tanks store water. This storage ability makes DC essential for powering portable devices, like smartphones, laptops, and tablets. On the other hand, alternating current comes from wall outlets and generators. It's a fluctuating current that changes direction, polarity, and strength periodically, typically 60 times per second. It is similar to a pendulum swinging back and forth. The fluctuating nature of AC has both advantages and disadvantages. One major advantage of AC is its efficiency for long-distance transmission. The fluctuating nature of AC allows voltages to be easily stepped up to much higher levels using transformers. By increasing the voltage, we can significantly reduce the current flowing through the wires. This dramatically minimizes power loss over long distances. Once the electricity reaches its destination, Transformers step down the voltage to safe and usable levels for homes and businesses. The fluctuating nature of AC has some disadvantages. The changing nature of AC makes it difficult to store it directly in batteries. Connecting an AC source to a battery would cause the battery to charge and discharge constantly, cancelling out the stored energy. To store AC energy, we need to convert it to DC, using devices called rectifiers. Once converted to DC, the energy can be efficiently stored in batteries. The alternating voltage and direction of AC can damage sensitive electronic components, like transistors and integrated circuits, causing malfunctions, overheating, or even permanent damage. Therefore, for precise and reliable operation, most electronic components require a steady and constant voltage, which DC precisely provides. This need for stability explains why DC, with its stable voltage, is the preferred choice for powering most electronic devices. The choice between AC and DC depends on the specific application. AC is more efficient for transmission over long distances, while DC is more suitable for storing energy and powering sensitive electronic devices like phones, laptops, and electric vehicles. Both types of electricity are essential for our modern world. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about electric current, its types, and which one is better. For related videos click the i button, or follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.